Hi everyone, how are you going? Hope you're having a fantastic day, wherever you are in the world. I'm just going to share uh, some symbols again. I know some of my uh, long-time followers will know what these are, but there are a lot of people that don't know. So it's just a quick one. In the modern world, we are surrounded by countless logos, symbols, graphs that make our everyday life. No matter where we look, willingly or unwillingly, we find ourselves immersed in a deep layer of information that is, in turn, filled with secret symbols and eerie me meanings. And what ancient societies, such as etc., date back to more ancient times in the century of communications, icons and logos we see that every day on our screens seem to be paying a stubble tribute to a few of such secret societies. It takes a while to notice the mystery hidden in the symbols. We see it every day, but once you spot it, it becomes obvious that we live in a world of secrecy and mystery. So we've got Apple, Gmail, Facebook. So one of the fundamental characteristics of is the use of symbols as a channel of communication. Beyond its immediate and obvious meaning, simple images become symbols carrying a connection between the man and the principle they represent and from it which they originate. Similarly, companies that dominate the market resort to similar philosophy when designing their logos or icons. Next, we'll take a look at some images associated with three of the most dominant companies in the technological world and its equivalent or possible reference. And because there's nothing without Scracebook, Scracebook is, without a doubt, one of the most famous anti-social networks in the world, if not one of the most famous of them all. Lately, it has become the most controversial due to its privacy policies and the leaking of personal information to third parties for commercial and political purposes. The logo is a letter F placed inside a blue square. One could well say that it's not very thoughtful logo, it's really rather symbolistic or minimalistic. I must admit, however, the minimalism is something the best way to go. However, the position of the letter off-centered and the fact that the, it was written in a minuscule way may have a meaning that many are not aware of. The mysterious Facebook logo and the company itself may be paying tribute to the mason's symbol with the lodges, the two-ball cane, Aiken two-ball cane. Notice the wicked similarity? Scary, right? But Scracebook isn't the only symbols embedded in scenery as on daily basis. We come across many more such as symbols. Let's take a peek at Gmail and the famous mail platform. Google's email service is probably the most used in the world. At first glance, it looks like a sealed envelope, but on the more meticulous inspection, we can see that the red lines and the color used on the logo is not by chance. The cross and the go through the folds of a M forms an M. Obviously, M stands for mail, but what's the mystery there? Gmail's logo has a stunning similarity with the classic Masonic apron, a piece of cloth that is fastened to the body at a waist height by means of rope and ribbon. The apron is steeped in spiritual and mystical meanings. If we take a look at it, Genesis 3-7, we read that Adam and Eve had made aprons of fig leaves to hide which they were most ashamed of, the genital area of the body. Then the eyes of both of them were open and they realized they were naked, so they sewed fig leaves together and they made coverings for themselves. The earliest representations of the Freemasons' apron are seen on the engraved portrait of Antony Sayer, the first GM of Modern Crafts, 1717, and the Fronty Spears illustration of Anderson's first book of Constitutions, 1723. But Scracebook and Gmail aren't the only ones out there embedded in occultism and secrecy, as there are many other symbols. Let's take a look at Android App Market or Google Play Store. The Google Play Store icon is an arrow pointing to the right. Many would agree that there's something strange to see here, right? Well, just see there's a well-known play button. However, take a look more closely and you will notice a curious pattern embedded in this, within the symbol itself. The problem with comparing such symbols is that we need to have something to compare them to. And most people are unaware of numerous ancient symbols that exist around the globe. If we compare the Google Play Store logo with the above image, we see an un undiable similarity. In the below GIF image on the right, we see on the left side of the Google Play icon and on the right side of the seagull of Lucifer, also known as the seal of Satan, a symbol used by mostly by Satanists. The image dates from the 16th century, according to the Gimor Varium, an 18th century Gimor attributed to the 
Elback the Egyptian of Memphis, who popularly wrote 1517, like many Gomorrahs, it claims a tradition of originating with the King Solomon. That explains how packs with spirits are carried out. It also details with great diversity of magic, formulas and role played by stamps. And despite the fact that we looked at two symbols belonging to Google, which may be connected to more occult meanings, there is another third symbol which we need to explore. One of the most famous internet browsers on earth is without a doubt Chrome, made by Google. According to the DAT from 2016, Google Chrome has been used by 2 billion people. But the logo of Chrome is another satanic symbol, 666, number of the beast. The number 666 also refers to a number of the beast. The number of the beast is termed to the book of Revelation of the New Testament that is associated with the beast of Revelation in chapter 13. So, yeah. <laughs> Wherever you are in the world, thanks for watching. Raise your vibrations. Bye now.